right, let's uh, head on back over to the wall here and we'll get a little gl glimpse of what's going on. As I mentioned, storms today, showers begin as we get into tomorrow and they were going to last uh, all the way after Friday. So pretty much your weekend going into the beginning of next week. Now we also have mild and warm conditions today. The winds are going to be up to like 36 miles per hour in some cases uh, today and tomorrow possibly. We also have again for tomorrow, those winds will also be present and they'll be up to about 33 to 36 miles per hour working through your forecast. Here's a look at the water vapor imagery right now. There's a lot of moisture starting to stream in. There's one line there heading towards Green Bay. There's another line that's way up to the north heading just north of uh, uh, the uh, Twin Cities there and continuing on heading up to uh, Lake Superior in Canada. That being said, your average lows around this time are supposed to be 52 to 58 degrees and of course the lows are supposed to be in the widespread 30s. Now we could possibly see record-breaking temperatures like we saw yesterday uh, here in not only in the afternoon but in the morning. Rochester picked up some uh, a high in the uh, or the warmer lows I should say yesterday as well as lacrosse and of course uh, we'll get into it with the afternoon. We got up to about 82 degrees yesterday so we broke another record I believe. We're also looking at uh, that rainfall as like I just showed you now from the water vapor imagery. Uh, take a look here as we get into it. Uh, that's not showing what it's supposed to be but we are in a marginal risk for severe weather today as a light risk uh, for tornadic activity which is about a 2% chance and about at least a at least about a 15% chance for damaging winds as well as the possibility of a large hail. That being said, uh, we get into it here. Just what you're looking at today with the, the cloudiness continuing to work through the air. We'll go cloudy for the day. Rainfall will rise around the 2 o'clock hour with the uh, light to moderate rainfall picking up going into the afternoon. By the time we get into the evening for your commute home, a lot of that is starting to track across the area and moving over to the east. You can see it by Vokefield, Sparta as well, back into areas up uh, north as well. And as few you're holding on to that heavier stuff and that's starting to slide more to the east as we go right into the nine o'clock hour so we're almost out of that you're looking at lady smith there into the dry conditions eau claire is getting sprinkles to maybe a light shower lacrosse is still in the light to moderate rainfall heavy uh, heaviness can be associated with that too with an embedded storm then the second round comes in as we get a break going into three o'clock in the morning so as we go right into at least about midnight to three o'clock in the morning there's a break that's going to usher in more of that uh, rainfall possibilities in the area then it gets a spin, a wraparound moisture, and we could possibly see snow working in the forecast right now. As you can see, the temperatures are only showing like 40s, but again, it is a light possibility that we could have some of that snow kind of drop to the ground. As far as rain is concerned for today and into tomorrow, we could see up to two to three inches of rainfall in the forecast for you as we go into it. Now, uh, I want to take, uh, take a look here. This is something else I was going to work on, but I want to show you something as we get into it here for the better part of the day, holding on to conditions to be like this. 76 to 56 degrees for you. Halloween is going to be wet, it's going to be chilly, and it's going to be cold in the e afternoon and in the evening hours, by the way. You're going to see temperatures in the 30s and the 40s. We'll go into the next few days looking into the weekend. You've got uh, daylight saving time comes in. That's going to end, so that means you get to turn your clock back and you're going to gain an hour of sleep. Back to you, my friend.